Hey everyone, welcome back to Ankle Shadow Gaming. Today we are back with Saddle Club Willowbrook Stables Day 5. Um, you did miss an interaction with Julia um, in between at the end of Day 4. I didn't realise it and then I went to go redo it and I spoke to her. Um, it didn't really do anything, she was just making sure that my horse was okay after running away yesterday, um, being let loose. She, um, I did have it picked up in the audio, uh, in the game footage, sorry, but then, um, I got trapped in my horse, so I had to restart it, and you didn't miss anything, don't worry. Um, so, yep, cool. So we have spoken to April. Thank God for the autosave feature, I didn't want to have to go look after my horse again. For some reason this looks a lot clearer than day four. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're not going to do what we just did before, so we're gonna get off away from the horse. And go and have a look at this marker. Here's the marker. So we don't get stuck. Okay. Beautiful. So there were those coordinates which we had, uh, we got given yesterday while we were at the manor library. Rary. We're at the manor. Um, so we will go, I will open up my map. Um, we'll go have a chat to Arthur. And just see if he knows anything. Please talk to me, please talk to me. What? What? Oh, maybe we have to go and actually find... screwed up again. Okay, so first marker, N equals north, 40 paces. Um, so using, okay, so we just got to stand in front of the stone marker and face north, hold down the arrow key and count out 40 steps. We've gone the wrong way, Jesus Christ, send help abort mission. I should not be playing games, this sucks, oh my god. Okay, so do I actually have to count or do I just have to like walk? Um. Okay, so I'll stand at the marker. feeling it's near there. Well this is north, so what the frickle frack? Hey, oh there we this go. This looks like Ooh. part of a map. Tom must have awesome. hidden these pieces all over the island. Okay. That's so we've been given a piece of the map. Hello, that, oh, okay now we okay. Arthur, have you seen a stone marker with a number two on it? Oh I might have. I think I ride past it when I deliver the mail. Just past the Batten's Mill. Thanks, Arthur. Awesome. Okay. 
awesome. So we'll go up and visit with Ruby Boy Lives. Okay. Whew. There's going to be a lot of this. I'm not too sure how long today's episode is. I don't know if day five is like a really long episode and we do all the markers in one day. We go and find out. Hey Toby! Hi, what are you doing? Well, I'm looking for a stone marker with a number two on it. Arthur said it was here, but I can't find it. There's only a marker with a three on it. That's strange. There's a marker with a three on the way to Hazel Crab Trees. So that makes two threes. How's that possible? Search me. I don't know which one's which. Hello, you two. Oh, hi, Julia. Maybe you can help us. Is there a sick animal involved? <laughs> Actually, I'm looking for a stone mark with a two on it, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. There seems to be more than one with a three on it as well. But that's not much help, and I don't know which marker is the real three. I know that sounds a bit confusing. Do you mean markers like the one in the village? Exactly. But you don't know which is the correct marker number two. No. I mean, that's right. What do you have to do when you find the real marker? Well, I have to find something nearby, using a map. Hmm. Well, it's easy then. Just try to find whatever you're looking for at both. That way, if She's you don't smart. find it, you'll know it isn't the real number two. Oh, and actually, if you do yeah. find it, then you'll also know which one is number three. Oh, thanks, Julia. Bye. See you, Toby. North 70 steps. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Obviously on Oh Jesus I walk it on water Here's okay. the next piece of the map. Cool so that one's number two. Awesome So let's go to the third marker. That was up near Hazel's. Um that was Prospect Tower, I believe it was. So, we will go back to our super slow mouse. Look for number three on the way to Hazel's. Okay, I'll do that. She's down this way. Beautiful, babe. That's on the way to Hazel's, so I think we have to go just past the village a little bit. That looks like Aaron there. Is that Aaron? Yeah, that's Aaron. Fabulous. Why is Aaron just out in the middle of nowhere? Honestly. Nope. Okay, so we'll go over to the marker then. And she comes to us, that's great. 
Hi Aaron, what's new? I've been trying to work something out about these stone markers. Hey, I saw Veronica hanging around here yesterday. You did? Yeah. I don't know what she, she was up to sneaky. though. But she looks sneaky. So she's the one so who's fucking around with So maybe she changed the number markers. on the other marker to trick me. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> so number three must be this one. I wonder how Veronica knew I was looking for them. Thanks, Erin. No probs, Lisa. Okay, so south 100 steps. Okay, so from the look of it, it'll be up here. I think this is the old church. Oh, the flowers were pretty. Another piece of the map. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. go home. That's great. So does that say Tabby? Okay. We'll go home and we'll ask Agnes or Tabby where it is. It doesn't automatic. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Uh, there we go. Okay, awesome. So, Miss Agnes, there she is. Great. So, we'll ask her. Hello there, Lisa. Hi, Agnes. What's new? Well, I spoke to the bank today. I was hoping that maybe I could scrape together enough money. Or that I could come to some sort of arrangement. Aww. But it was no good. The horseshoes really are now my last chance. Oh, Lisa. I don't know what to do. Don't oh, be upset. Old we'll work it out. I've got one already. Remember? Oh, thank you, Lisa. You're an angel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I think I need to lie down. Okay, bye. Okay, so Agnes is no help. She's gonna go lie down, but she's also gonna stand there and do nothing as well. So, okay, and there's Tabby. Hey, Toby boy. Hey, Hi, Lisa. Dude. Hi. I found something for you. I found something for you. Oh. Another one of those markers, number four. It's by Old Man Johnson's. Thanks, Toby. That's okay. Okay. So, my phone is sort of exploding. Um, so, we've got to go to the village because that's the closest one to the orchard from memory I think yeah I'm pretty sure yeah because yeah it's up here that's fine beautiful I like how like unstraight these bridges are
field but oh there he is cool there it is there it is not you again what do what you, you want right i need to go into the orchard to look for something if that's okay well it's not there's nothing in there for you anyway couldn't i just go in for a minute please a minute's all it would take for you to steal go my away go away <laughs> Why are you so mean? What? Go on, be oh, off with you, scallywag. you scallywag. Okay. We're gonna go to the mulberries. Mm. Mm. There we go. Um, Robert. The prankster should be able to help. I'll go behind the building so I have time to jump off it and not get stuck behind my goddamn horse. Okay, that's fine. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Rob. What are you doing? Hey, Rob. Oh, nothing much. Aaron's been chasing me because I read her diary. You shouldn't read a girl's diary, Robert. It's meant to be private. Uh, I... I know. I think I'll probably regret it when she catches me. So, what have you been up to? I was trying to get into Old Man Johnson's orchard, but he guards it I don't like blame a him, to be honest. Not all the time. Take it from me, the best time to pinch apples is tomorrow morning. He goes off into the village then. That's when I always sneak in and munch on a few. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. Can't guarantee there'll be any apples left by the time you get there. Can show me a lot. Bye, Rob. Bye, Rob. I guess if we send that, we've got to go back to the stable and end our day. Um, unless we talk to good old Tabby first. No, we don't. Okay. That's cool, yo. Let's put our horse to bed for the night. That's fine. I don't care. Awesome. I will just not put him in the stable because I've got to feed him and clean out the stall and, you know, all that responsible stuff that a horse owner should do. So. Thank you guys so much for watching me all, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.